Hello and welcome Pixels! 25 Games is here and I want to present you the production pipeline of a game brief app today. A Fantasy Weeping Willow. We will start to talk about sketches and concepts, come next to modeling plus UV layout and head to texture hand painting. At least I want to show you how to import everything to Unity 3D and do all the settings for unfinished prefab so it is ready for level design. I have as well an important announcement. All project data for this video will be available for our patrons as from now. You can download every created work file, use it or try to create the object of this tutorial with our help. Being a patron of 25 games wasn't that good as never before. Thanks so much for all our patrons. Simon Sineda, David Heinzel, Erich Gangl, Melina Brunner, Robert Hartl, Reinhard Bauer and Maximilian Heinle. Thank you so much for your support. But let's head to the tutorial right now. 1. The concept Everything starts with an intention to create an idea. In our case a fantasy tree. So you have to be creative because fantasy means not real. However, we don't want to reinvent the wheel. I start always to scroll through the internet searching for references of other artists or photographs. It is always good to get some basic inspiration. Once you finished your search, I begin to sketch. The design should fit to our environment. You see here a screenshot of our vegetation in Cortex. The new object should fit to this setting. But the sketch itself is sometimes too less for unfinished design. Try to draw color variations of each object. Ok, time to get feedback. Show your ideas to your team, if you have one. Find and choose the best sketches which should be implemented to the game. It can happen that you need to define your work more precisely. So it is good to make more sketches about your sketch to define all obscurities for the modeler. Two, the 3D model. Once you finished the planning, it is time to start modeling. I'm working with the 3D software Blender. You can easily place the 2D artwork as a background image in Blender. This will help you to find the shape pretty quick of your 3D object. You don't have to keep the concept shape for sure. If you think to add or change something in your 3D mesh, do it. But stay within reason for sure. 3. I personally don't like the automatic grab function. I set all themes and do the layout by hand. We want to reuse texture space. You can work with linked duplicates or create the texture first and duplicate the needed faces later. It could happen that the modeling and texturing process is mixed together. However, the basic UV layout is done. You can always adjust the UV layout later. 3. The hand painted texture. I'm using Blender and Photoshop to create my hand painted texture. 
I start in Photoshop by placing basic colors to my UV islands. Just pick the colors from the 2D concept. The software blender is better to paint lines and patterns. You have the advantage to paint directly on the 3D mesh. You don't have to care about seams and which UV island belongs together. I prefer to draw the last details in Photoshop, because I like the brush behavior there compared to Blender. If you are fine with the details, I duplicate always my layers, merge them and assign the filter Find Borders. I get a nice toony look by setting the layer style to Multiply and 50% Opacity. The texture is done. Four, export and import. Make sure to tidy up your 3D mesh before exporting it. Remove doubles, remove unnecessary vertices, consider backface culling, bring the pirate or cursor to zero, apply rotation and scale, or in Maya freeze transformation. Really, check those steps. You can avoid troubles for yourself or with your teammates. Export now an FBX. I am creating a new folder for each prop. Import it to Unity by drag and drop it from the Explorer to Unity project. I don't want to work with the imported materials in our project, so I am disabling it. Then I create a new material and assign the self-made vegetation shader to it. For sure we need to import and assign the texture as well. Drag and drop the material to your place 3D mesh in the scene. So far we imported everything. 5. Creating and Prefab We implemented the mesh, material and the texture so far. But this is not a finished prefab. For sure there should be a working collider, so that the player can't run through my tree here. I usually add Unity 3D game objects and remove the renderer component. Just adjust the primitive collider itself. Pack everything to your other 3D geometry and then simply drag and drop your creation to the project folder. Congratulations! We created a finished prop in Unity and implemented a prefab. I want to remind you that you can download the single work files if you become a patron with a pledge of $3. But this is not all. Patrons are able to work on Cortex together with us 
by making decisions in game development. Get extra access to our Discord server and chat with our Pixel community. If you liked this little tutorial, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for further tutorials. If you are interested to our weekly newsletter, check out this link in the homepage. You will get informed about our game development in detail and what's going on how to be an indie game developer. Thank you very much for watching, hope to see you again, cheers!